Uh, Tommy Brown is three minutes remaining. Thanks, Las, uh, Las um, I was just looking recently at some media quotes from uh, 2014. I quote, uh, close to 60% of all private rental premises that were inspected by local authorities last year, that was in 2013, failed basic minimum requirements, prompting calls for landlords to be compelled to undergo NCT-style inspections on the properties, and there were 100% failure rates in some local authority areas with failure rates in the, in, in the 90s, 90% and others. And of course, uh, the article concluded, and it was an article canned by, um, uh, by the, uh, the journalist uh, Alison Bray of the Irish Independent. It concluded that tenants are suffering in, in silence. Um, so you'd think they were, these were quotes you know, from, from the, uh, uh, after the recent Primetime Investigates uh, programme, Nightmare to let. Uh, but for three years, Minister, uh, we knew that this was the situation and the last government, your current government, uh, has done absolutely nothing uh, to try and ensure uh, that uh, um, tenants were given uh, some kind of safe uh, and decent accommodation uh, and vulnerable people are, are still being exploited and placed in, in grain, uh, great danger. Because of my own concerns on, on the uh, growing uh, concerns on the rental sector, I requested a, a research paper from the Oireachtas Library and Research Service on landlord obligations to LASCAN. And in particular, I ask that they look at the UK's Housing and Planning Act 2016 and the UK's Housing Department's guidance for local authorities and civil and criminal sanctions for landlords. And the research indicated a number of measures which were introduced in the UK, namely civil penalties of up to £30,000, extending rent repayment orders to cover other areas of breaches, and in particular a database of rogue landlords and agents and banning orders uh, uh, for particularly bad landlords. Uh, and the research paper, of course, concluded that the essence of that legislation could easily be introduced, Minister, in this country. Uh, and I believe Part 2 and Schedule 9 of the UK Housing and Planning Act 2016, um, uh, you know, you could, you could bring it forward uh, tomorrow morning if you wanted to. And of course, on, on Thursday last, the country was shocked by the exploitation, uh, hor horrendous exploitation by some landlords in Ireland uh, of tenants. And, and uh, we noted, of course, uh, so many young migrant workers uh, desperately trying to access affordable accommodation in the city. And, of course, the programme uh, Night, uh, Nightmare to Let showed an appalling disregard for human life and dignity in some properties around Ireland. Um, the, uh, 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 what was particularly astonishing, of course, is that it took something like eight weeks, apparently, to, re to reply to um, an email of complaint on fire safety. And it reminds me, of course, that seven or eight years ago, I myself referred uh, the Priory Hall complex in, du in DBN in Dublin Bay North uh, to the Chief Fire Officer, uh, as well as to Dublin City Council, uh, and of course it eventually led to the cl closure of, of the complex. But the, the kind of conditions we saw in Priory Hall, and we've seen even worse conditions uh, in, in the last few days, uh, they, go, they go on and on. That's why I think many people would be s sympathetic to uh, the, the, the recent call of Councillor Eilish Ryan of the Workers' Party, you know, for maybe a total management change in Dublin City Council. Um, uh, because there, there, there has been you know, such significant risk uh, to residents. Uh, and I know um, the Dep Deputy City Manager, Brendan Kenny, has apparently called for fines of up to a million oh euro for landlords floating the law and also indeed asked for 100 uh, additional inspectors. Uh, but when we look through all of the statistics that we have been provided with in that programme and elsewhere, Minister, how many of those uh, uh, you know, uh, thousands of dwellings uh, where legal, uh, and those where legal oh actions were initiated, um, how many of them were repeat offenders? Are you looking into a or whether any councils knew that tenants were living in fire traps, have you now ordered an investigation Definitely. into the management of local Michael authorities Collins. in relation to this? So we need urgent Michael. action on this, Minister. Uh, it's uh, you know, sympathetic words are talked about NCTs and so on from both sides, from the Fine Gael, Fine Fall Party, if we want to call it that, uh, far too Good late.